Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So let's continue our developmental disturbances of teeth related to shape or form. So last session we had covered various anomalies uh, which we're seeing uh, with respect to crown. So today's session is about the anomalies uh, with respect to shape or form seen in root. So let's see what are the anomalies seen in root regarding shape or form. Concrescence is when there is two fully formed teeth which joins at the root okay, by cementum. So it's like this when two different teeth joining at the root side by cementum it is known as concussions. So it is uh, only in cemental uh, side. Uh, it is not coming into coronal part only. Uh, roots are joined. But the crowns are different. So most commonly it is seen in maxilla. And also in posterior part compared to uh, anterior part. So compared to mandible it is commonly seen in maxilla. And also compared to the anterior side it is seen mostly on posterior region and the common two teeth are involved the second molars second molars roots closely approximate adjacent impacted third molar so the second molar and the adjacent impacted third molar are united at uh, roots and it may occur before or after the teeth have erupted so usually involve only two teeth and we need x-ray for diagnosis and no uh, special treatment required for this condition so usually diagnosed or it um, found out when we take uh, when we take x-rays for other reasons so we can see there is a uh, joint uh, roots of two adjacent teeth mostly second molar and impacted third molar or the posterior region two teeth so that is concrescence the next is enamel pearl which is droplets of ena ectopic enamel which is found on the roots okay it is commonly seen on bifurcated or trifurcated teeth may occur on single rooted premolar as well so it's seen as a small globule or enamel projection which is uh, seen between the trifurcation or trifurcation or even the single rooted premolars so maxillary molars are more commonly uh, associated with enamel pearl compared to mandibular molars and it consists only a nodule of enamel attached to dentin and it may have a core of dentin uh, which contains pulp horn and it, it is also detected while taking radiographs for other reasons and may cause stagnation at gingival margin but if they contain pulp this will be exposed when the pearl is removed so if it is uh, exposed, if it contain pulp, there will be uh, this will be exposed when this pearl is removed. So that is about enamel pearl, which is a droplet of ectopic enamel, which is seen between the bifurcated or trifurcated teeth. Now we have dilaceration. Dilaceration is a bending of root, so angulation or sharp bend. Or curve in root or crown of a formed tooth so why it is happening it is due to the trauma to developing tooth so there will be root to form at an angle to the normal axis so this is dilaceration it forms an at an angle so movement of crown or part of root from remaining developing root which results in a sharp angulation after the tooth complete its development so this particular trauma will results will cause the root to form at an angle compared to the normal axis so this movement of crown or this part of root from the remaining developing root which results in angulation and it is commonly seen in a syndrome known as Ehlers Danlos syndrome Ehlers Danlos syndrome is associated with dilaceration now we have flexion flexion is deviation or bend restricted just to the root portion and usually this bend is 
less than 90 degrees so that is the difference between flexion and dilaceration dilaceration always the bend is greater than 90 degree and flexion the bend will be less than 90 degree this is also due to the trauma to the developing tooth and the last one is ankylosis ankylosis is submerged tooth so what happens is the fusion of teeth to the surrounding bone usually deciduous teeth especially mandibular second molar what happens it joins with the alveolar bone the root joins with the alveolar bone so extraction or uh, exfoliation will be difficult um, because of its uh, fusion between the bone and this particular root it is commonly seen in mandibular second molars so these are the five developmental disturbances or anomaly with respect to teeth and especially root so we covered the developmental disturbances of size number shape and so let's wind up this uh, anomalies concrescence which is a joining of uh, roots by cementum enamel pearl is a globule or ectopic enamel present between the roots that is bifurcated or trifurcated dilaceration and flexion are the bending of root greater than 90 degree and less than 90 degree ankylosis is a fusion of teeth to the surrounding bone so i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you